Hello and welcome to a look at the new game. Well, yeah, new early access game called Gold Rush. Thought I'd give it a go. May not necessarily be a full playthrough, but uh, it's certainly worth having a look at and see what we get to. So this is where you start in the game. Uh, if you press tab, you will have access to a map where you see a town map and um, an old Arnold Pass, which is down here in the bottom right. And that's where we need to head to first. However, we can take a look at a journal. So it's going to go through and see what we need to do to get set up. So let's first of all get in our truck. Uh, start the engine with X and press spacebar to let go of the handbrake and let's head into town. Now we've got $224 to start the game with, which is not a great deal. So you, the start's going to have to be a little bit manual, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm going to be terrible at parking. Suppose this is America. Yep, it's left hand drive, so I guess so. And um, let's take a quick look. We have a few options here. We've got loans, which I don't want to take out just yet. Stock, which is just the price of gold. Sell gold bars, we don't have any. Uh, so parcels, 25 grand. We definitely don't have that. So let's just rent it instead. Okay, so we've got that rented. That's the first step. Head back in and start up again. And we're going to head this way. And then down to our left is the warehouse where we can make our first purchases. We don't have very much, so we can't really make very many first purchases, but uh, I'm trying to crash because there is sort of damage to this pickup truck if you're not careful. Let's just turn off the engine, hit the handbrake, and here's where our items that we buy will be loaded. So let's head inside. We're going to buy a few things. Um, buckets. Uh, I'm actually going to buy two. It says to buy one in the guide. It's it's wrong. <laughs> well, you can get away with one, but it's just a bit of a hassle. Um, we want hog pan mats. We want two of them at least. We want hog pan no pump to start with because it's going to have to be manual. We will add a pump later. It's just a slightly different attachment that you can put on it. And we're going to need the hog pan sluice box core. We can later extend it. And if you have seen this show, then I'm sure you know what this is going to do. If not, then I will explain once we get out to the um, to the parcel. I don't think there's anything else that we need, unless it's going to tell me I need anything else. No, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go to a good till and let's see what it's going to charge me. 160 total cost. Two mats, two buckets, no pump, and a Core. 160. I've got 64 left. That's not enough to get that. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, let's go with this for now. Let's uh, go and purchase. And uh, it's saying it's available outside. This being a simulator game means we could sort of have to play Jenga at this point. Um, <laughs> we need to get all of this into the back of the truck, and it's not going to really help us by just arranging it automatically, so I guess there it goes. Let's go and grab the other two or three items, a couple of mats, a couple of buckets, if I'm not stood in front of a post, and the slowest box. Here we go. And now we can head out to the parcel. So let's just head left here. And we go left again at the end of the road. And just before the railway tracks, we turn to the right. Now we're going to go through an industrial area just ahead. Um, it's really easy to spin this truck out. So just take it a little bit easy. And we get our loading thing. Uh, that's fine, we need to cross the railway tracks, so just up and over here, down the other side, and then towards that chimney stack in the background. Uh, I'm gonna, up oh, loading, up, oh, spinning it out. <laughs> it's really not the best pickup truck in the world, and it's a bumpy, dusty road. Never mind, uh, there we go, we got on some concrete. Alright, so we can head through here. 
and down to the end and then we head left again and we can sort of cut through the car park a little bit there we go and we're onto this road which leads up into the hills so we're going to keep heading along here watch out for obstacles these two rocks ahead are the worst in the world they are only just big enough to get your truck through and uh, I've crashed the game by hitting those, those rocks before the truck gets stuck, gets teleported back to town and um, yeah nothing is great so we're just gonna head up here see where that campfire is that's where our first parcel is in Gold Rush so let's just stop here turn off the engine and hit the handbrake and here's our parcel so the first thing we actually want to do is grab this and head over here sort of avoid the fence as much as you can and then let's just pop it down and I'll go and grab the other stuff before we set things up later there's much uh, there's much mechanized machinery to do this but um, to start off with we have to do pretty much everything manually uh, let's grab both the mats Unfortunately, you can't carry more than one thing at once but it's not too bad and we're going to want the buckets as well. Let's just set this up before I go back for the buckets. So the first thing you want to do is just grab this. Uh, the sort of that is the bottom end. The top end is up here. So if just grab this and move it into place over here. You'll see it, it goes from outlined to full once it's in the right place. And then we can go and grab the sluice box. And then that's set up. Then we'll grab both the mats. One. Two. And we're set up. Now what's going to happen is we're going to need to put dirt in here and then rinse it through with water. That's going to get caught in the mats, or at least the yeah, the, the various bits and pieces are going to get caught by the mat by the mats. And then the water's just going to run on out. So we can go and grab the bucket. Um go and grab a bucket. There we go. Bring this over here. And we can get started. So if we look at the journal at this point, it's going to tell us, rather helpfully, load it up on the pickup truck, set up the hog pan. Uh, that's the extension part uh, up there. Use the shovel to fill the hog pan with dirt. Rinse the mats in the bucket, start panning. It's not terribly specific about how you do that. So if you use the angle bracket keys, uh, like the comma and full stop or period you change between tools okay and we've got a headlamp as well but you don't need it at the moment so you can change tool to the shovel it's not an actual physical item in the game or anything and then any of this area here you can actually grab dirt from i recommend not grabbing dirt right next to here it may be tempting just to go you know shovel in shovel in but you'll just dig down and not be able to get back out so just grab some from anywhere really just to start off with and you get the idea it's going to show in this GUI how full it is and how full each of the mats are so this is the laborious start of the game it's a little bit like punch, punching wood in minecraft so i'm definitely not going to show all this on camera but i'm just going to show one cycle so you get the idea so it's 10 shovelfuls if you like to fill this up and this is where we want to well in the journal it pretty much says that that's tier one and if we go to the next page it's like go to the warehouse buy mobile wash plant that's something like twenty thousand dollars <laughs> So there's a bit of a gap between tier 1 and tier 2. I'm certainly not going to do it all by shoveling manually like this. So we've got to get, at least get started somewhere. So that's enough to get us started. There we go. And one more. All right, it's full. So let's change tool back just to regular hands. Grab a bucket. Scoop it in the water and then just scoop it back in here. It's going to start filtering water through the mats, which is going to pick up loose dirt and gravel and gold. 
and uh, it's going to empty the box. And this is sort of what I'd kind of like to be in multiplayer, but unfortunately it's not a multiplayer game, at least not at the moment. Uh, that's going to keep pushing through. And that's going to be finished. There we go. So that's back to being empty again. So now if we go and grab head into the tent here, if it's getting dark, you can go into the trailer and uh, sleep for the night. But in the tent here, we've got a few things. Um, one is the pan, if you like, that you pan for gold with. And you can bring everything back to the, um, to the tent if you want to. Or you can just move it out here. For the moment, I just move it out here. Then you want to go and grab an even larger pan. <laughs> a bucket, but it's more like a... Well, I'm not sure what it is. It's just a big half barrel. Then head back to your site and then fill this one up with water. This is just kind of your disposal pan, if you like. There we go. And you'll pan for gold over the top of this, so put it on a flat surface as much as you can. There we go. So the idea is uh, we're going to go and fill up these mats a little bit more than we have at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. Then we take this, fill it with water, grab these, rinse them into it a few times until you've got all of the gold out and then we're going to go on to panning. So let me go and fill these mats up a little bit more before we uh, rinse them out and then we'll see the next step. Okay, so I've got a few loads of this running now, and we're up to 53%, so I thought I'd give this a go. Um, you can wait up to 100%, that will get you more gold, but in this case, uh, I'm going to just stop here. And then we're just going to rinse these in this bucket full of water. There's no gold, okay. And this one. Can we rinse it again? Nope, it's empty. Okay, so they're both clean again and we can start the whole process anew. But now we have a bucket over here full of slush, basically. And of course, this is why we have a second bucket. We can carry on with this first activity if we want to, without needing the same bucket. So from here, you pick up this bucket and then you use it with pan. We can pop it back down. I think it's got about four or five uses. Pick up the pan. Hover it over to the uh, the larger barrel, if you like. Press E, and now now we're actually panning for gold. Now, as you can see at the moment, it's all dirt. <clears throat> we can't see anything. So uh, if you press Shift, you go into this other mode, and this is where you can see the controls. So if you bring it, if you do that, you can see the controls, and go back again. It's a bit of a bug at the moment. So we can move right, move left with the mouse. Go to called picking up mode with Shift. That's where we just choose a piece of gold and we can move up and down with our mouse buttons and then rotate the pan left and right and tipped it forward front to back all right so um let's just dunk it in the water pick it up move it around a little bit and you'll see it gets muddy and move it in and you'll see it's clear now if we drain some of the water out Very carefully, you'll see we've got some gold in there. So if you press shift, you can click on the gold. And need to move this around a little bit, click on the other pieces of gold. One there. And there's a third one I saw. I'm not sure. Yep. There. Okay, so we've got 0 0.079 ounces of gold. That's not a great deal, really, is it? But, you know, we're, we're starting off early days, early days. So I don't think there's any other way to get any more gold here. It'd be nice if you could. But I think we've got it all. Yep. So we just pour it away, press E, and then go through the process again. Now, while I could keep panning there all day, um, I got that first load and we got... 0.4 ounces, so I thought we'd uh, head back into town, or rather just outside town, to the right as you come back into town, and you get over here towards the blacksmiths. So if we go, just go in here, I'm not sure we'll have enough for um, to melt any into any bars yet, but we can sell the ore. It's not as good as selling the bars, but at least it gets us some 
seed money to buy some more equipment, perhaps. So let's take a look. Okay, so we can craft. Mm. We can melt the gold. But we lose 0 0.04 ounces. Okay. So we've melted the gold, and fortunately, this is a physical item. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a very small town. It's uh, no one's gonna borrow that. It's fine. Let's head to the bank and see if we can sell these, shall we? Going across two two minutes. Well, I mean, it's gold, so it's not gonna bat well. Uh, it wouldn't bounce if this were, the physics were great in this game, but I'm not quite so sure that's the case. So let's just uh, pull up. And we need it in our hands to sell this at the bank. Uh, sell gold bars. Your bars. Hmm. Can't sell them. Do I need them in my hands? Where's my gold bars? There they are. This is fine. Uh... Okay. Sell gold bars. There we go. Just has to be near the bank. Guess that wasn't near enough to the bank in the truck. So we got $500. Start up. And then we'll go head back to the warehouse and see if we can get anything that will make this... Um, well, better. Um, there's a few things we can actually get. And one of the things is a pump. We need a generator for that, I guess, but uh, let's see what the cost is. $500 may not be enough, but, you know, we'll give it a go. See what it's like. Ah! That's fine. Didn't dent it, did I? No, nope. it's fine. Yep. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we can get, um, if anything. So that's the water pump. It's $200. It's fine. I assume it's self-powered rather than needing to sell another generator, so let's just see if we can buy one of those. Okay, and a wave table. <laughs> we, we do want that at some point, and the magnetite separator, but uh, we don't, can't afford that just yet. Uh, I do actually want the hog, pa hog pan pump option. So how much was the, uh, the water pump again? 200. Uh, this is going to be 400. This is most of our money. And we're going to need jerry cans, I suppose, for the fuel. But we're also going to need a filter. Is there a filter around here? Um, water hose fat, $20. We do want a water filter, but I'm not sure if we can afford it just yet. Um, there are the jerry cans, $10. Where's the water filter? Let me have a look around, and we'll see when we come back. Ah, here are the water filters, right next to the till. So, I'm going to grab one of those, let's say. And uh, we're going to want the water hose. Let's... Oh, we're probably going to need two of those, I assume? Maybe? Uh, water hose thin, I don't know yet. And hydraulic hose... Power rope we're not going to need. Uh, we are going to need a jerry can, I suppose. All right, and let's see how much that is so far. It's probably the majority of what I have. Yes, it is, unfortunately. I'm not sure if the jerry can is actually full or not, so let's just buy it. And we've got $29 left. That may be enough to fuel up some jerry cans, depending. We'll have a look. I'll load this into the, uh, the truck. If we have a look at the map, over on here, there is a gas station out there. I'll see if I need to fill stuff, and then I'll see you back at the uh, the the um, parcel. Yeah. All right, so we're back from the store, and now I'm going to fit in the upgraded version of this. Hopefully, there we go. So it has a pipe fitting on the back, and this may well need me to go and get another small water hose 
But anyway, um, I'm down to nine dollars, so I may not be able to afford it. So I've got the water filter, and let's just pop that onto the end of the hose, hopefully. And then we can hopefully connect that onto one end. And then the other end in the water. I would have soon. And then will you fit? Can I use the other hose? I've got an extra large hose. Doesn't look like you're going to fit onto this, does it? Mm, that's a shame. Okay, well, I'll go and get a smaller hose as soon as I get a little bit more money. Um, I do actually want the jerry can though. Would I leave my jerry can? Is it in the truck still? I did go and fill it up at the fuel station. Uh, it was just dragging the sort of fuel hose from the, um, the pump and putting it in here. So if we use this. Doesn't give me an indication of how much is left in the jerry can though. That will be useful. However, this is fully refilled, so let's just pop that down somewhere. It'll be fine, it's magical. And this, unfortunately... Oh, hang on. Uh, is that just the on switch? It is just the on switch. Okay. So I can't really do anything with this at the moment. I think I'm going to need the smaller hose. Okay, be right back. Okay, so with some cable, I reattached this cable to the this end. The, the end that's... The helpful it says in. <laughs> it gets out. Okay, so let's just pop this into one of these. And then into the back of this. And then I think there's a priming handle. There it is. That's very, very easy to miss. If you press this, nothing happens. Okay. And are you running with water? You are. And we're 100 percent at the moment. So, yeah, we no longer need to fill this up with water. We do, however, need to, um, I guess, keep shoveling. Let's just see what it's like now. Does it just filter immediately? Yeah, it looks like it does. Okay, so that's sped us up somewhat. The next step up should probably be, um, well, more machinery. I think we're going to have to get everything up to 100 percent or as much as possible. So I'll see you once I've got to those. What I may do is go and get that ext extension with the extra couple of mats, but if not, I'll see you when we get 100%. Okay, let's grab the last few shovels. I've been uh, digging for a while now. 100%. Great, so let's just shift tools. And turn this noisy thing up. Okay, so it's used up um, nearly a third of a tank. Let's just go and fill that, quite, that back up. Tank is fully refilled. Great. Grab a bucket. And fill it up. And now we've got two full mats. 100% full. Let's go and rinse them. Okay, it rinses straight away. Put those back and they're empty again. Great. And now uh, this, I'm just going to move to somewhere a little bit more level, or at least keep trying to do that. Let's see if this results in a lot more gold. Hopefully it will do. Last time we tried was 50%, I think. So let's get this sifted. Looks like there's more gold in there. Yeah, it looks like there's quite a bit. Let's just get all the water away. Yeah, let's go and pick up all that gold. There's one bit there. And another bit there. Up to 0.16. I'm going to continue through this and I'll see you maybe when we're near an ounce of gold. And we get this dialogue. Once we get up oh, uh, the I think it's over an ounce of gold total. I've never seen anything like that. It's the biggest gold nugget I've seen in 40 years of my experience. I hope it's not just beginner's luck and you'll use it wisely to get with proper machines. 
Check where you need to run the mobile wash plant and don't forget about an excavator. Even the smaller one should be enough for you. Reject? Uh, no, let's click OK. And we've got 39 and a half ounces of gold. We would have got 40, of course, but we've already used up half an ounce. So I'm going to continue, though. I, I, there's the rest of the gold in this pan. What, I want more than that, please. Um, yeah, just a little bit more. And then I'm going to go and melt this down. Craft it into a bar. And then sell it at the bank and we'll see you at the warehouse. All right, back to the till. And now I've got a mobile wash plant. A magnetite separator. It just says magnetite, but that's, um, yeah, that's what it is. A mobile generator for power. The sluice box extension. And a couple more mats and water hose and another jerry can. Let's buy that. Okay, and let's head outside, and there... <laughs> I guess we're going to have to hook that onto... Yeah, we're going to have to hook that onto our truck. Let's hope it's got enough power. So, I'm going to grab the generator. And get that in the back of the truck. I'll go and try and fit all these in, and then we'll see if I can attach this thing and do a three-point turn. There we go. See you in a minute. And I guess the other thing we want in this small machine park, the, the warehouse is just down there, and it's just straight out of the exit of the warehouse, straight across the road, past the diner, and you get to this place. Uh, it's a small excavator. I don't want to be using that shovel anymore. Um, hmm. 28,000, and we've got 28,342. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get to check out. Hopefully they'll deliver it, because... It might take some time otherwise. Uh, although there's a transport section. Let's see what checkout says. Okay, so we can order that. Ready for transport nearest storage space. You move them to your claim from the transport window next to you. There's a limitation of one machine of a kind per claim. Okay, I guess we can't have a large and a small excavator. Storage space. Uh, we're going to move that. And it's 1500 transport cost. Really? Okay, I guess we're going to have to make a bit more money then. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Get back out to our claim. And I'll see you there. And with another load of gold complete, we get back to our um, little parcel and we find an excavator. A new toy to play with. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go and have a look around. So we have that small area, uh, let's just go into a rotation camera, right over there, near the waterfall. Well, we've been digging with a shovel for far, far, far too long. But however, there is this whole area over here, and you'll see I've parked up this uh, uh, washing unit. <clears throat> so basically all of this is actually diggable. Uh, so towards where we place everything. Not quite sure if there's anywhere in particular, maybe in that area ahead of me, because that's the non-diggable area. And then I guess we're going to have to have a look around over here. Now, there's a large hole. I don't want to get stuck in. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go and have a look what we can do with that new excavator. Let's go and park up. Anywhere near our original plot. And you can see the machines I've set out there. Let's just uh, quickly pop over to the engine off. So I've set up the other machines. So we've got the magnetite separator. This needs a power input from our generator. From here to here. And then another hose from this input section all the way over to this side. And then you put a bucket at the top. Um, can't show you right now. Yeah, there you can go. You can put it at the top. And you just hit start once both of these are running. And it works quite well. But because we're now going to move away from, well, whatever's left of this. I don't want to use this shovel anymore. We want to use the excavator. So let's go and look, see what we can actually do with it, shall we? Uh, let's head over there. I'm not going to get back in the dump truck. Well, in the dump truck. In the pickup truck. For that, let's just see if this has got any fuel in it. Hopefully it has, otherwise I'm going to have to run back for a jerry can. Um, enter. Alright, so cabra, uh, cameras, then we've got throttle brake, turn left, turn right. Okay. 
and we can shift between operator mode and driver mode. So on driver mode first. Okay, let's start her up. Sounds good. I do have the sound a little bit lower. Um, let me just actually increase that back up a little bit. Um, can get a little bit too loud sometimes. So let me know what you think. Do I have a handbrake? I do have a handbrake. Okay. Camera. This is good. So if we head out over towards the diggable area, and we'll set up there for um, for the next episode, I think. It's been good for the first episode, all the manual stuff out of the way, or at least the manual digging out of the way. Next episode, we'll get started with the machine digging and uh, start automating things. Obviously, the further in we go, the more automated it gets. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and um, see you next episode.